Hi, it's Miss Nancy. How are you today? I know how much you miss coming to the library, and I know how much you enjoy looking at our display cases when you either come into the room or when you leave our room. For those of you that have displays in, your ca in the cases, don't worry about them. They're still there. They're going to stay there. But in the meantime, I'd like to show you one of my collections. It's too big to fit in one of the display cases, of course, but I thought I'd show it to you on my coffee table here. I have a collection of teapots. I'm not sure how it got started. Maybe because I only drink tea. Coffee to me is really yucky. I don't like coffee at all. I've also got Irish in me, so Irish people are tea drinkers. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my collection. My first teapot here is from England, and it's a small cup. It only makes one cup of tea. It's very simple, very plain. It was one of my first souvenirs I got when I was in England. This one is my favorite one. This is from England too. It's in the shape of a cottage. Here's the top to it. And it also comes with a coffee and um, sugar. And also with tea, sometimes when you pour the tea in here and you let it steam, sometimes you wanna keep it warm. So you put a cozy over it. This is a cozy, it goes with it. And it's in the shape of a cottage. And this keeps it warm. A lot of people use cozies. My next teapot I got at a garage sale. And it is a picture on the outside. It's hard to see. It's a picture of a Midsummer's Night Dream by Shakespeare, who's one of my favorite authors. I love to read Shakespeare. It's a cute little one, and I use I don't use this one too much, but it's also from England. This one here is from my aunt. She gave it to me years ago before she passed, and it is from Czechoslovakia. And it's really a pretty shiny little teapot, and it came with some teacups. And I don't think you, I don't think you can tell, but it shimmers inside. When you drink your tea in the cups, they shimmer. And I really like that, I think it's pretty cool. Grandma gave me this one. This is a Chinese shape design teapot. And the fancy thing about this one is it's got 22 karat gold around it. I have two of these. I don't know why, but I have two of these. This one, a fr I got this in Montauk at a, um, what was it at? At a garage sale. And this is basically just a pretty little teapot. It's a heavy teapot. And it also has designs, like a gardening designs on it. This teapot came from a friend of mine. And it's got a fall look. It's like tree trunks and it's got some acorns on it. This is kind of cool. This one is very, very tiny. I don't know if you can even see it. This is the teapot. It's Noah, it's Noah's Ark. And it's just for decoration. Here's the top to it. And you can't put any water or tea in it. It's just for decoration. But that's my tiniest teapot. Then I also have this one, which is called a cuppa. And a cuppa is a, pea, a teapot that has teapot on the top. And on the bottom is your cup. So once you have your tea, you pour it in. And there's your cup of tea. My newest and last latest one is this spring bunny. I won this at a Chinese auction. And what's cool about this one is the head is the mama and the tea comes out of the bunny's ears, which I will show you. So when you pour it, you have to hold the head so it doesn't wiggle. And out of the ears comes the tea. And that is my tea collection. I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Take care.